Hello everyone, my name is Roll Easy, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about some beginner's tips for Red Dead Redemption 2 that include finding gold, looting, hunting, and just different ways to start progressing in this massive world. Now, it's the day of release for Red Dead Redemption 2, and I've spent six joyous hours playing this game, and I felt nothing short of marveled by the world that Rockstar has created. From glorious landscapes to shining stars in the night sky, it's a world that I'm currently obsessed with. Now, what to expect in this early game? So, you're thrown into a dark world right off the bat. Alright, terrible weather, there's blizzards that are so strong you can't even see 5 feet in front of you. Snow so high that it goes up to your knees. In chapter 1, this is your intro basically to the new life of gangs and outlaws. It's not until chapter 2 that we start to gain the freedom to roam and explore. Now, in chapter 2, now that we can discover the world around us, you'll probably want to know where to find guns and ammo. Guns need to be unlocked in stores by finding them out in the world. So first you need to actually take out some enemies and then be able to loot them. Now, if you have the special edition bonuses, you can get three unlocked guns right off the bat, including the pump shotgun, which is very nice to have for free. Now, doing good deeds will help you early on. An example, I helped this gentleman right here by actually sucking the venom of a snake from his leg. Now, I just did this because it was the first encounter I had and I decided to go ahead and just do something weird. And uh, it turned out to be something really good because later on, I found him outside the gun shop and he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Hey, Wallace, this here's the kind soul I was telling you about. The one that uh, got the venom out of your leg? <clears throat> mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but how about you head over to the gunsmith? and pick out your choice of item I'm not looking for trouble, on my tab. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do, with him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Yeah, the Almighty. Helping out certain people can also give you intel on nearby gang hideouts. A nice revolver to find pretty quickly if you want a gun right off the bat is located in the medical shop that's actually in Valentine. Now, if you look outside in the back area, there's an illegitimate business that they're actually running right behind that medical shop. So peek through the window and you'll be able to activate this side mission. Once you've done that, just go ahead and make sure that it's daytime and because, you know, at the time for me it was night, but if you go to the front, you can actually just completely fast forward to the day and you wanna go ahead and take that business down, all right? So just completely rob them, take the business down, and then once you're finished with that whole massacre, you wanna go ahead and go over to this desk and you will find the Schofield revolver sitting inside of this little box right here. So that's a nice gun to have right off the bat. Now, when it comes to money, there's a few things so far that we know. So in a world like this, obviously dollars and cents are not very plentiful, okay? This is when currency was first becoming, you know, it was about to become mainstream, but there weren't a lot of people in the world. So little by little, you can definitely earn up a good amount, all right? There's enough for that. Now, looting is your best friend in this game. I cannot stress how important looting is. And you can not only make a lot of money from this, but you can also find food, ammo, and other supplies that can be sold later. So looting is beneficial in many different ways. And playing story, it'll help you rack up your body count pretty quickly. Certain missions can leave you with 20 bodies at some point. But if that wasn't enough, there's actually plenty of people who are willing to begin altercations with you along the way. What I found so far in terms of a good money maker, but it's very rare, are is gold, okay? There are gold bars, gold nuggets around this map. You just need to find them. Now, there is one gold bar that we know the location of. It's in this burnt down town called Limpany. It's right here on the map. And you want to go ahead and just go through the, you know, the little eerie town and find your way to the sheriff's building. Now, once you're in the sheriff's building, you want to head over to this desk. And the gold bar is actually located in a lockbox in the bottom drawer. Okay, so once you've gotten this gold bar, you want to hold on to it. This thing can be sold for $500, but you need to unlock the fence first, okay? And what a fence is, is a person that's willing 
to go ahead and buy items from you and look the other way, not ask any questions on where you got them from. And a few more missions into chapter two, you will actually be able to unlock the fence and you'll be able to sell him this gold bar and make a quick $500, okay? So I also found another location where there's actually a gold nugget. I don't know exactly how much this could be sold for, but you know, any money is good at the moment. So this is the location. It's south of Window Rock here. And this will get you a little bit of dollars, all right? Now, if this game is anything like the first one, get ready to go hunting for exotic animals to collect pelts and things that can be sold later or brought back to the camp. So when it comes to actually hunting, you can get the meat and the pelts, and those can either be sold or gone back to your camp to help feed and clothe others, all right? Or warm them, you know the deal, it gets cold out there. So remember, do, th <laughs> do good things too. Also, collecting certain plants and helping others can earn you a pretty penny as well. So make sure you don't waste any opportunities. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment, but we'll deal with that later. Now, when it comes to the law, there's not much to say. All right, the sheriffs and the lawmen, it's nothing like GTA. These guys are hard to get away from. You can take them out, don't get me wrong. You use some dead eye. You can definitely beat them, but you do not always come out alive. Kill cams are great, they become more intuitive and they do become more gruesome the more you make mischief and do bad things in this world. Now in conclusion, this game has it all. I've only played it for six hours, only six hours of my time has been put into this game and I can't believe the amount of things that I've seen already, I cannot wait to see what's in store for me next. But. Keep it locked here on the channel by subscribing, liking my videos, and participating in my future live streams. Now, for all things Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm Roll Easy. Until next time, keep it easy.